Then you have some any resentment towards Mama. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> I'm afraid people will misread your insecurity for being bitchy. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model that you guys told me I need to watch because of how they treated Jenna. So you guys, everyone was commenting like, you need, if you think this one's bad, see how they treat her at the finale and all this. So let's check it out. Welcome to paradise. As you can see, we are here with Brent again, which means we're here with CoverGirl. You're doing a print ad and you're doing a commercial shoot. Whoever wins America's Next Top Model will have the print ad that we shoot today be a national ad. We're gonna be doing a shoot for CoverGirl Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers. And it's a brand new lip gloss. It comes in 12 different colors, but y'all are gonna represent three of the colors. So we wanna introduce you to someone that knows all about being America's Next Top. Tyra. Tyra. Or Nigel. Model, Jasmine. Oh, hi. It's not Tyra. Congratulations, you guys. Oh my God, final No, they, they added the picture with Tyra. So I feel like I, we were close. We were close. It's a great experience, you guys. I, I you guys are definitely gonna change from this. It, you find out so many things about yourself by being in this competition, it's not even funny. Be ready. She's not lying. It's kind of sad to, to watch this back now, knowing all the things that production did, allegedly, and what the girls truly went through. If my fortune cookie could say one thing, <laughs> virtually sticky free. Introducing CoverGirl Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers. Chantal, why is lemon your favorite flavor? Wait, are they having the girls memorize all this while they're in hair and makeup? I want to hear from you guys. Ha are, are any of you guys actors or have had to memorize a script for a commercial? How much time do they give you? When do, do you think this is a realistic time frame to memorize a script for a commercial? is what I'm asking you guys. Leave your thoughts. I'm extremely, extremely nervous because at this point, it really is a real ad. Upon winning, this is the ad that runs. It's terrifying, but it's also the most exciting thing. They're not gonna run an ad that they give the script to memorize t like 10 minutes before they shoot it. But I mean, it could be a, a normal thing that they do. I don't know. What's the product name? <laughs> Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzer. You got it. All right, let's roll. I just got my lines. I just memorized them, but I really don't feel like I'm 100% prepared to go out there and kill it. If my fortune cookie could say one thing, what would it be? <sighs> Introducing CoverGirl Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers. Introducing CoverGirl Wet Slicks Fruit. Also, the name of this, Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers. It sounds like a tongue twister almost. It's not something that rolls off the tongue. Yes, uh, Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzer, please. Like, why does it have to be 200 syllables? I don't know. It's the product. I don't know who's coming up with the names. <laughs> 12 delicious flavors with a burst of fruity shine. My favorite. Is lemon, is lemon splash. Let's just try and make it more conversational. Okay. Whereas now it sounds like, I'm- It sounds like she just got the script five minutes ago and she's not prepared. And let's see, but let's hear what Mr. J has to say. You guys know Mr. J comes in with the advice, with the wisdom. Mr. J, take it away. I'm reading lines. I'm a dumb model and this is the lip gloss. Okay. Okay, I understand. Tell me why that's necessary for him to, to call her a dumb model. The way that they speak to these girls as if they are beneath them is, it's just crazy to me. It's so disrespectful. She's not dumb. She was actually doing an amazing job. She's doing really well for having just learned the lines. Okay, camera set. New CoverGirl Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers. A delicious fortune of refreshing shine from easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. That was so great. Oh my God, it was awesome. She did amazing. I'm so proud of her. Mr. J was saying that, in my opinion, in the hopes that she would internalize it and mess up more, but she took that and she did even better. Good for her, I love to see it. She did so good. I want you to bring a real sense of Jenna to this because 
you know, that's what top models do, okay? <laughs> He's like, I'm ready. You're ready? <laughs> You're like ready to keep going. I'm so ready. Okay. Camera rolling. Take one. As soon as the camera starts rolling, I am silent. New cover girl. <laughs> Take three. Take eight. Take 11. Oh. This is literally me. This would be me 100%. I, I'm terrible at memorizing lines. Not everyone is good at it. I'll give you a refreshing lip gloss that's virtually sticky free. Hey, Jenna? Yeah. Let's go to cue cards. No. We need you actually saying it properly. I think cue card signifies she can't do it. She can't just learn lines. If this were me, you know I already had the, the cue cards made. I'd be like, actually perfect. I made them this morning. I knew I wasn't going to do this. I actually did not have any interest. So uh, I'm just going to be, you okay with the poster board that I got from Dollar Tree? I'm, I'll try to act like I'm not reading from the, the map board. Yeah, you'll love it. No one's going to notice anything. Just crap me out of it entirely. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Who cares? It's lip gloss. I would be all too happy to do the cue cards. I'd be like, bring them out. I don't mind. <laughs> Better for me. <laughs> Why does it have to be a bad thing if you have cue cards? It seems more helpful, but on this show, they kind of play it as, oh, you need extra help? How dare you? You can't memorize 17 pages of script for, for lip gloss? God, you're never gonna be a professional model. How dare you make us bring out the cue cards that someone worked on for probably five hours, one of the interns, un probably unpaid, and I don't want to be that girl. If you want one more take without, we'll do it, but then we have to do it with cue cards. So I can do one more without them now? Sure. sure. New CoverGirl Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers. A delicious fortune of refreshing shine from easy, breezy, beautiful CoverGirl. <laughs> yes! Okay, she destroyed that. I'm sure Mr. J is seething inside. He's like, God damn. Productions in the back like, oh man, we almost had her. They really thought they were doing something by weaponizing the use of cue cards. They're like, you only have one more chance before we bring them in. As if it's like this terrible thing, like it's everyone's gonna go out of their way to hold up a cue card just to help her be better for the commercial, to have the best commercial pop as possible. They're like, we don't know if we're ready for this but it's your last chance. <laughs> you are the most likable in that take, in terms of energy. I think I embodied like a happy me that's, you know, into this lip gloss. Um, I think I did my part um, the best I could. Once you got your confidence going, you came through with it. And at the end, it was great. It was very likable. I'm afraid people will misread your insecurity for being bitchy. Jenna just came off looking snotty, a little over the situation, and that is something that Jenna should really watch out for. The hell? What did, what did I just watch? Where did you get that from the commercial that she, she did amazing in? I'm so confused. So he says that she does a good job, but then says that she's snotty? You're really trying here. You're reaching. You need a ladder. You need a helicopter to get up to wherever you're trying to go with this uh, narrative of Jenna. She does not come off as snotty or bitchy or anything like that. She just seems like she's having fun with it. You gave her literally an ultimatum. You're like, this is your last chance. She kills it. You're upset about it because now you can't bust out the cue cards for the storyline. And then Tyra can't bring it up at panel. She's like, damn, I was waiting for someone to use the cue cards so we can criticize them during judging. And now they can't. And they're upset about it. So they're like, you did, you, but also you low-key did, you somehow did terrible, even though you did also did good. Does anyone here agree with Mr. J? I'm, I'm being serious. Like, does anyone think that she came off snotty? Introducing CoverGirl Wet Slicks. You'll get a refreshing lip gloss that's virtually sticky free. If my fortune cookie could say one thing, what would it be? Imagine for a moment you're a model in this competition. It's down to the final three. You're doing a commercial. You just memorized the lines. You're already super nervous. You're in front of a camera. And you see 
Mr. J, who's the creative director, slump down in his chair, embarrassed of every word you're saying. Even though you feel like you're doing good, he's like this. Imagine. Imagine someone just like that. Now let's flip this for a moment. Imagine now you're the model, you're saying the lines, and you have someone in the background cheering you on. Yes, you're doing great. Yes, oh my God, amazing. Keep going. Imagine that. Which would you respond better to? I'm just saying. Dang it, see, now I, oh! Everyone stumbled a bit at first. Let's go right into another take. Okay. Take five, take eight, take 10, take 12. If my fortune cookie could say one thing, what would it be? You'll get a refreshing lip gloss that's virtually shine free. Oh. Hey, Celicia, I need that bright smile. I need that little twinkle that you got. But no cue cards, no mention of cue cards. But she's on the 12th take. Why would they do that to Jenna? And I, I'm not, I, I, I love both girls. I think they're doing, they're trying their best. I'm just saying like, isn't it interesting how they brought up the cue cards, but she's on her 12th, like Jenna was doing like 11 takes. She's on her 12th. I just think it's interesting. I don't know. I don't think cue cards are bad or anything. I'm just saying why they didn't bring it up for her. Yeah, okay, maybe they will. Let's see. Maybe they'll threaten her and be like, we're gonna bring the cue cards out. The terrifying cue cards. Maybe the guy with the cue cards is on the side just waiting. He's like, should I? Should I go in yet? Is it, my, is it my time to shine? Come on, honey. Can you give me a second? Sure. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna cry. Take 17. Can you give me a second? Tyra said, if you start feeling like you wanna cry, if you start feeling like you just can't do it, go off set. You know Celicia's in there, and you know she can overcome this. I know, but I'm just letting everything get to me. The final three girls are here, and any one of us can take it. And I don't want to see somebody else take my dreams out of my hand. Everybody has fears. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I know you can do it. Let's start again. 12 delicious flavors give you a burst of fruity shine. My favorite flavor is Tangerine Splash. What's interesting to me is they're okay with her like sitting down. Like Usually they'd be like, how dare you? want to take a break. We're gonna bust out the cue cards. Like they haven't mentioned the cue cards yet. They're okay with her like sitting down and like, you know, having a chat. I'm su I'm literally surprised Mr. J isn't like writing this in the diary, gonna tell Tyra. But when it came to Jenna, it seemed like they were really hard on her. Mr. J's acting like a totally different person. He's sitting, he's literally sitting down. I know you can do this. I'm like, what is this? The beginning of a Disney movie? Like, what, excuse me? Is this the same person? Weren't you just calling a model dumb not even like five minutes ago? Because it's summery and sweet, just like me. Okay, Salisha. You did good. Along with our commercial, you know, we also had to do a photo shoot. Jimmy D is gonna take you. Jim, who shoots all the gorgeous CoverGirl ads, he's going to be shooting your potential CoverGirl ad today. So no lines to memorize here. Just so. all my personality. You sure? They're gonna be like, psych, here's a 80 page thesis statement. You're gonna need to memorize this. There's also the back, there's printing on the back as well. It's double sided. So you have, we're gonna start in 10 minutes if that's okay with you. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna set up this uh, beauty dish and we're gonna start right now. That's good, that's good. Give me all different types of looks. So with your eyes, your smiles, a little more attitude. Yeah, good, that's great. Giving those little flirty eyes, it's good. Good, cute, good. There you go, that's nice, good, cute. The photo shoot was super quick. That was like, like two minutes. He's like, okay, we did two shots and you're done. And it's time for lunch. The guy with the cue cards is the one left disappointed for this episode. Tyra's gonna be mad about that. So the judging is supposed to be pretty intense specifically on Jenna for this one, so let's check it out. We're gonna start with something that we do here at Top Model to see how knowledgeable you are about your competition. And we're going to start with Celicia. So Celicia. Is it like a quiz or something? Is she gonna like get a Scantron of some kind? Celicia, who do you think has the most potential to be America's Next What does it matter? Like who cares what, who she thinks has the most, of course she thinks she has the most potential, like what, 
these questions, they just want drama. They want the girls pitted up, up against each other. They see that they're getting along, maybe. They're like, we need some drama. Out of all the girls here, I mean, of course I have to say myself, I've fought my way through this competition. I started off rocky and, you know, I became stronger. And who do you think has the least potential? It's not gonna change anything, no matter what she says. It won't change a thing. So they're only asking her this to create drama, to get the other girls to dislike her if she brings up their name. That's so wrong. I think out of all the girls, I would say Jenna, just because, I mean, she takes beautiful pictures and I love her, but her personality and how she carries herself, she can be very rude and disrespectful. Okay, thanks. This, look how Tyra gives that smile. Thanks. Thanks for calling her rude and disrespectful. Like, they just, this is just so hard to watch them prompt the girls to talk about the other girls in front of them knowing very well that their their opinions don't matter at all. It's not gonna change anything. They're put on the spot and they're forced to answer these questions, vilifying their fellow contestants. There's no way around it. They can't say, well, I don't dislike anyone. Then they're gonna get in trouble and they're gonna be criticized. So I hate how they put the girls in these positions against each other for no reason. All right, up next is Chantal. So you know the drill. Who do you think has the most potential? I think I have the most potential. Everyone's gonna say them. The, Tyra, we know what you're doing. Tyra, I'm surprised you don't straight up ask, hey, who do you hate the most? Who's ugly in this competition? Who should we send home on a bus? Just ask that. At least you're being honest at that point. It's a complete facade for the girls to think, oh, my answer could have an impact on the end result of this judging, when in fact, it doesn't. It's not gonna change a thing. You're only gonna make things worse for yourself by dragging someone under the bus, but they have no choice. And who do you think has the least potential? I guess I would have to say Jenna. I don't know if she's exactly the person I would want my little sister to look up to. What does that mean? I feel that she just kind of has like a, like I think I'm better than people attitude. Thank you. You can see how those responses are affecting Jenna. You know, she's taking the, the, the deep breaths. I can't imagine how she felt in this moment. Tyra doesn't even need to say anything herself. She uses the contestants against each other. She doesn't have to do anything. She's like the little puppet master back there. Acting all, like we really care about, this is a, a survey to make things better for you guys. Up next is Jenna. Look at how she's so happy. She's Hi, like Jenna. Jenna. So Jenna, who do you think has the most potential to be America's Next Top Model and why? I think I do um, because even though I am different than most cover girls, I feel like girls will be able to look at me and see that they are just like me. Um, and that, you know, I don't have to be like super bubbly and cute because I am an extremely happy person. And I don't know, I don't think that my laid back attitude can hurt me because I think that a laid back girl can still be a cover girl. She seems like just a wonderful person. She, that was a great answer. And who do you think has the least potential? I feel like uh, out of everyone, Chantal is the most amateur. Thanks. Tyra was just so happy to hear that. She's like, thank you so much. Noted, this is gonna really help the future episodes of this show. All right, let's see your take. Introducing CoverGirl Wet Slicks Fruit Spritzers. 12 delicious flavors give you a burst of fruity shine. My favorite flavor is Tangerine Splash. I'm actually very impressed. You managed to keep smiling in your eyes the whole way through, which meant that you believed in yourself and you believed what you were saying. Absolutely did not get that from me. I think, here's the thing with me, I think she did a good job, but I wouldn't, First, you know how on the, this panel they really make it deep. They're like, I really, I saw it in your eyeballs just the pain of the tangerine splash and I really, the emotion that you evoked from this. And then I'm over here like, good job, okay. So you, we're getting pizza after this? <laughs> Two different types of people, I guess. One thing I notice is enunciation. There's certain times you say certain things like, one thing, yeah. thing. If my fortune cookie could say one thing, it's not thing, it's one thing. Okay. Mr. J said that you memorized the copy without listening to yourself. You sounded very robotic without any inflection. And it took you 20 takes to get the lines right. Let's take a look at your beauty shot from the photo shoot. I believe the smile. Very cute. Nice, nice photo. That's, 
it's I don't do a lot of studio photography uh, I do enjoy it. I think it's a great shot the retouching for these was always over the top it was I wish they would have just pulled back a little bit with the with the retouching maybe on like the cheek area I mean it's it's preference every photographer is different in how much they retouch and obviously it's something for cover girl so they definitely want it to look perfect. Introducing CoverGirl Wet Slick Spurt Spritzers. 12 delicious flavors with a burst of fruity shine. My favorite is Lemon Splash because it has a twist of citrus that keeps me feeling fresh. Your technique is, is bad at the moment. Mm. But. She did it amazing. What are you talking about? Body language, your neck looks fantastic. This was a big deal for you because your last CoverGirl smile and shoot. <laughs> but you figured out a way to do it and you did a really good job. Thank you. Mr. J said, you have that girl next door quality that makes you so relatable. You have an innocence about you and are believable as a cover girl. And that she's dumb. Did, did he tell you guys that, that he called her dumb? Mr. J's over here living two different lives. He's like, you did terrible and you're dumb. And then in judging, she's an inspiration. She's just a role model for so many young women out there. Lemon splash. <laughs> what? At least be consistent. New CoverGirl Wet Slick Spritz Spritzers. A delicious fortune of refreshing shine from easy, breezy, beautiful CoverGirl. I feel like you were making fun of the whole commercial the whole time. Well, that's just you, Tyra. She didn't act like she was making fun of the commercial. She, I think she did a great job. She was very personable. She was having fun with it. You guys are just mad they didn't bring out the cue cards. Let's be honest here. Did anyone else get that vibe that she was making fun of it? Like, how was she making fun of it the whole time? She said the lines that you guys told her to say, and she took a bite of the fruit, which you guys wanted her to do. So what is it? Was she too happy? Too much happiness? They're like, you enjoyed that too much. Therefore, you're eliminated. Especially in the end when you bit it and you seem like, this is dumb, haha. <laughs> Jenna, you've been saying from the get-go, that you're not really a cover girl. You haven't got that sprightly personality. Bottom line is, you've got to believe in yourself. We believe in you, that's why you're here. So he just, he's like, you don't have that personality, but we believe in you. This is so ridiculous, this is so wrong for them to make her think all of it, to make her think that she doesn't have a good personality. If you want to send her home, okay, send her home, but then to lie and make up things, oh, your personality, oh, you know, you're not even really a cover girl, you said it yourself. Like, doing these little things to manipulate the situation and to make her doubt herself and her personality is so wrong to me. They can't just send someone home in peace. Okay, um, here's the elimination. We didn't like your picture. Uh, have a nice flight home. No, it has to be, we're going to make you make you doubt your entire existence. And I could see when you got the criticism, it was really hurting you, which I understand. I just hate being misunderstood by my friends. Girl, it's always going to happen. What do you think they're misunderstanding? I, I just hate that, like, just because I'm not, like, running around, like, smiling all the time, that makes me mean or makes me think I'm better than people. I don't have to just spew rainbows incessantly just for girls to want to be like me or just just the fact that people wouldn't want their little sisters looking up to me, that bothers me. Why do you have such an armor and uh, there's something protecting you, so why do you think you have that? I'm used to being really strong and having to be really strong. Why are you used to having to do that? Because I had to be a mom. You had to raise your family. My sisters, yeah. So then you have some inner resentment towards mama. Oh. This is so hard to watch. Oh, well, why? Do you think you have a resentment towards it? What is this, a ther what are you, her therapist? What is this? Is this the time? Is this the place to be going into a personal subject that is sensitive to her? It's not the time or the place. And if you really cared about her, you wouldn't be asking her that in front of everybody. These questions are simply to get more information that's going to be useful for the show. Tyra knowing full well what she's going through. They already know what she's going through in her life, most likely. But they ask her as if they don't know. Again, these are prompting questions. Oh, I hate this. I don't like crying in front of you guys because I don't want you to think that I'm weak. <laughs> I'd rather see a girl crying in front of me because she's hurt, because she might have missed a lot of her childhood and being a normal girl, than saying, da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. which one is more of a human being that's more likable and vulnerable? This one probably feels a lot more uncomfortable, but it's a lot more real. 
The other one is just like protection. Remember we did that photo shoot and you want to find yourself and you want to climb to the other side of the wall to find out who Jenna is? So the real Jenna, who she really is, is on the other side of that wall. You just did. <sighs> no, girl, you just exploited her feelings for television. That's all it is. It's like they know they're sending her home, so they want a big reaction before she, she goes through the door. They're like, we might as well, while she's still here. For so many episodes, she made her doubt who she is and made her think that she's this uh, Jenna's like missing a part of herself when she really wasn't. It's just Tyra's the one getting in her head about it and the judges. They're trying to get her to believe something that's not true. I like this. I don't know why I'm breathing like that. Ugh. All right, so you ready to see your photo? It's a completely different look for you. Definitely good studio photography. Love the contrast of the picture. Again, it is a bit over retouched. We see like no under eye area. Even the smile line is retouched out. The whites of the eyes, even the eyes, like the inside is also dodged out to pop out a bit more. Definitely, it definitely fits the style again of, of CoverGirl. Let's check out how they eliminate Jenna, what the speech is gonna be. Salisha's a girl that came into this competition. Everybody said, oh my God, Salisha's modeled before. But did She's they? experience. Okay, did they really? She comes into this competition and girls like Jenna with hardly any experience Damn, okay. all over Salisha. But there was something about Salisha that was special. Why are you trying to start drama potential. with them again? So she remained in this competition and the stronger and stronger her photos got. And we have Jenna, a girl with hardly any experience with modeling. But Do you have to keep mentioning that? Taking photos that rival the top models of today. Re okay, so and she Jenna, said today, today. You climb to the other side of that wall and connect it to who Jenna is. How? Because like you asked her personal you. questions? So who continues on in this competition and competes against Chantal? It's Alicia. We all know. Can you guys hug? Okay. They look like they were friends too. Ty was trying to ruin that. Cry. We want to see you cry. Let's see the emotion, Tyra. I don't see any tears. Not even a tear. Nothing. Yeah, we heard it. Okay, stop, stop this, Tyra. You guys, please all be friends still. Don't let Tyra ruin this, please. I'm gonna look this up after, like, see if they're still friends. Tyra, you, that's messed up that you're trying to come in between these girls' friendship. That's all I'm gonna say. She sees it, she's like, D you know what? A good friendship, no more. Let's get in between this, guys. Roll it, roll the clips. I really do feel sad for Jenna. I hope that she never for a moment doubted herself uh, and her personality. I think she has an amazing personality. I think she's an amazing model. I hope that she's doing well today. I wanna leave you guys with this. Someone commented, in judging, Tara puts on her therapist voice to get Jenna to open up and then they use that against her. I've never read something more true.